Hello students, this is Suganya. Hope you all are doing good. Now, let us study about the animal world. If you have visited a wildlife sanctuary, you might have seen the animals moving in groups. Do you know why animals move in groups? Just like human beings, animals too are social and prefer to stay in groups. When one member of a group of animals sends danger, it alerts others in the group. This helps them in saving themselves from the predators, that is their enemies. They move in groups to save their young ones. Animals move from one place to another in search of shelter, water and food. Let us see about the group behavior of animals. A group of elephants that move around together is called a herd. The oldest female elephant is the leader of a herd. The male elephants do not stay with the female elephants for a long time. They move away to be solitary. Means they stay alone. Next let us see about honeybees. A group of honeybees that stay together is called a swarm. A swarm of bees lives together in a colony. Let us read more about their everyday behavior. Bees build a hive for themselves to live in. The beehive is a large pouch-like structure. It consists of thousands of small six-sided chambers called combs. Honeybees store honey inside these combs. Each colony of bees has a queen bee as its leader. The queen bee lays the eggs. And the worker bees build and protect the hive. The worker bees collect nectar from flowers. A long thin tuber mouth part of their body is used by the bees to suck nectar from flowers. This part is known as the proboscis. The collector nectar is stored in the honey stomach. A bag like part inside the bee's body. Then the bee spit this nectar out into the comb. Nectar in the comb slowly turns into the honey. The people who raise bees for a living are called beekeepers or apiarists. The place where they raise the bees is called an apiary. The process of rearing the honeybees is called apiculture. The apiarist lights a fire and lets the smoke cover the hive. The smoke scales the bees and drives them away. The apiarist then extracts the honey from the comb of the hive without the danger of being stung by a honeybee. This is how the honey is collected. Have you ever studied about how do animals help each other? Let us see about the animal partnership. An animal is often seen in the company of a different type of animal. The white birds called the cattle aggregates sit and ride on the back of cows and buffaloes. They eat the insects present on the bodies of these animals. In this way, they get their food and help the cows and buffaloes by eating the pest on their bodies. These cattle aggregates also alert the cows and buffaloes of any danger by suddenly flying away and giving a shrill cry. The next is the plover and the crocodile. Plover is a tiny bird that sits inside the open mouth of a crocodile and picks up blood sucking leeches from its gum. Thus, 
these animals have a partnership that benefits them both shy and friendly animals most animals are not familiar with human being when they see people moving towards them they feel shy and run away for example squirrel lizard mouse tortoise etc and some wild animals like lion and tiger they attack us some of the pet animals and domestic animals are not shy of us this is because they are familiar with human being sometimes animals are shy because they fear us the fear is generally because of some unpleasant experience from the past for example you might have seen people throwing stones at dogs just for fun at times children tease animals such as cats and dogs by pulling their tail or poking them with sharp pointed sticks this may be funny for the children but it hurts the animals such cruel and insensitive behavior by human being make these animals scared shy and fearful so we should let the animals know that we are their friends and we are not going to hurt them so this includes not making any sudden gestures or loud noise that might frighten the animals when an animal knows we are not going to cause any harm to it it will not run away from us let's study how the ears of the animals help them some animals have long ears some have short ones while some do not have ears at all rabbits and elephants have long and big ears that help them in hearing the slightest sound some animals such as dogs have ears that can move this helps them to know where the sound is coming from A polar bear has small nubs instead of ears that it can close while swimming. The birds have two tiny holes on either sides of their head which function as their ears. They do not have external ears. This helps a bird to fly easily. The snakes do not have ears. they hear through the vibrations on the ground let's see about the outer covering of animals all animals do not have the same kind of outer covering some animals have skin with hair some have scales while others have feathers covering their body most mammals have air on their body camels deer and zebra have very short hair on their body polar bears and yaks that live in cold regions have thick coat of air that keeps them warm by trapping the warmth generated by their body and snakes have scales on their body they are called as reptiles porcupines have spikes on their body that protect them from their enemies birds have feathers that help them to fly and keep them warm so here we studied about the animals in groups and how do they help each other and also about some body parts such as the ears and outer covering how they help the animal let us solve some of the exercise so we call group of animals by different Name. A group of lions is called a pride, whereas a group of geese is called a gaggle. Now you have to find out what these group of animals are called. The next one is name the following: animals that have small nubs instead of ears that it can close while swimming. Animals that have scales on their body. The next exercise is you have to give the reason for the following. Birds have feathers. The 
polar bears have the coat of hair. Now answer the following. With which animal does the flower bird share a partnership? Why do animals stay together in groups? The next exercise is to solve the crossword puzzle. A tiny bird that sits inside the open mouth of a crocodile. A group of elephants that move around together. A person who raises bees for a living. A group of lions. Thank you.